What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So, to round off up on last time, um, well, the major news was we declared war on Russia. However, the Austrians are sallying out of their garrison at Zagreb. So let's fight. So it does mean we are almost Russia, Austria, Sweden, Greece, and Prussia still. The only part of the country not really at war with is in the Mediterranean, well, not the Mediterranean, um, the Italian peninsula. That they have, despite the fact they hate us, they have still, Time to they have still decided to let us have some, some sort of leeway. So because they are attacking us, and as the advisor mentioned, you want to take full advantage of earthworks. So let's deploy my fusiliers. The shields, the, the breastwork, the earthworks are only partially effective. Um, the trees are a bit, just a bit dodgy for artillery because of because of the trees. Okay, so then let's take. There you go, mixture of line infantry and light infantry. I probably want all of these guys behind cavalry defences. Then on the other flank it will be the same feature because they do love their cavalry charges on the flank. I suppose these guys could, could probably deploy um, mines but I never really find them to be super useful in defensive battle. I mean it's or defensive open field battle it's fun to have once but then you'd rather have something like cavalry defenses to actually do more stuff so okay not gonna listen to you advisor so I'm running my light infantry forward because I want to drop down some spikes. Oh no, we don't have spikes. Not in Napoleon. <sighs> Sad face. And two playing Empire. I could probably do with actually. Stretching you out, shade more. Stretch you guys out. Stretch you guys out. And I am very much leaving a line infantry unit, sort of hanging them out to dry. Um, but come on, so where's the other light? There he is, right at the end. So same deal with you. The light infantry were the limiting factor. So I do want to actually stretch these guys out a little bit more. So he talks about cavalry are not useful for defensive positions. And actually what I might want to do against cavalry charge is to do something like this. Because it gives me an opportunity to provide some fire onto them before they get into the combat. Or at least, you know, once they've made it over the over the spikes, then there's a bit of a gap before them crashing into my lines. It looks like the left flank is going to be where action is joined first. Some nice looking lances. Let's speed up time a little bit. So they can traverse this ground. Um, okay, yeah, this art okay, that artillery is open fire. This artillery is open fire, but you are immediately going to stop because that's a recipe for killing your own comrades. Whereas these guys, this is pretty good. And even then, I'm probably going to want to target these guys into the Jaeger because they'll outrange us. And one unit of cavalry is probably not going to do as much damage. Like the light infantry will get lots of shots off first, then by regular line infantry, then they'll hit the spikes, and then they'll probably rout. Put my cavalry on the flank. I 
So one Lancers is going wide. 20th are moving in. I mean, I will load these guys with canister shot if they get close enough. And I will blast them. Where are the guns? So they're having barrage the Jaeger. Charging, they are charging. So you form square. Let's run my cavalry over here to try to lure them into lure them into that square in the flank. Yep, so they can hit the spikes. Not all of them, some of them managed to jump over. But they're gonna hit the square. Be broken the heart is opening up, which is a bad idea. Good, we managed to push the Jaeger back. They've only lost three men, but it's enough. Let's get these guys re reloaded to round shot and get them to engage fusiliers in the distance. Because, yep, that's the cavalry gone. Let's reload my line, or reform my line. Because it looks like they want to be silly. And... Reform their line before charging in again. So let's triple speed it just to make sure they... Oh, okay. We can lose some infantry to this cavalry charge. Come on, come wide. Don't hit the lancers. Because I want you to come around the flank before you charge into them, but whatever. They seem to be drawn to them like a magnet. There we go, now their line's pushing up. So the sixth. Uh, getting chewed apart. Yep, they're coming in now. It's going to be hard to, to already engage someone else, even though they probably won't. Good, let's immediately redeploy this infantry so they don't fire a volley after my cavalry. Let's pull them back. Ah, oh, poor chap. Poor Dragoon. But I'm in a good position because the infantry is moving up. Don't want to be too silly with them. Okay, now this gun team needs to change targets. Go for the Swiss line infantry. Let's speed up time to get, let them get a bit more into range. So that's the... To be honest, it looks like I'm going to wrap the this flank inwards a bit. Target the Chevrolet Leger first. And let's preemptively redeploy my infantry like so. Let's bring my cavalry around. Barrage the Chevrolet Leger with canister shot. You know they're out of range. They are doing some damage. Oh, I hope the Jaeger is about to do a very nice thing and wander into musket range. Blast them with canister shot if they decide not to. Nope, they are coming within range. Poor souls. And here comes the canister shot. Yep, and that's got rid of the... 
got rid of the, the lancers behind them. So let's redeploy this line properly as a as an entire flank, except for the cavalry. So they are surrendering this flank, so we're going to want to drive, especially as this flank. This flank's not outgunned, but they've got a lot of there's a lot of troops. So we are going to want to roll up this flank as quickly as possible. Push up the cavalry. You want a, you want a slight hill, but not not enough. So we need to push the fusiliers up. So let's see how many how much friendly fire this is going to cause. Hopefully not as much if I target a unit further in the rear. Hmm, they seem to be re they seem to be responding. Go on everyone. Engage the Jaegers. Good, they're shattered. Chevalier in the trees. They're already quite weak. Yeah, they are freaking out. Oh, there's a light foot. So let's see if I can get a few volleys from the 40th before my cavalry get in. But they are light infantry, so my cavalry should do Okay, when they get the second volley in, that's it. And let's push these guys up. There we go, look at that. Slaughter. Slaughter immediately. Cool. So you're on the offensive. You go after the Lancers. And then this line needs to move up rapidly. catch them in a very 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 nice cauldron or a nice pocket probably shore on this line a little bit and then make then make these guys advance up even more except the cavalry and the cavalry looks like it's doing a terrible job like ugh. okay so who are you after you're after them square so my cavalry was sent to chase after them but for some reason they decided they wanted to stop come on why is it being stupid Collectively, we should make those Lancers route. Okay, let's get this infantry out of here. Get them to form. The cavalry shattered, so we don't need to chase it. So let's get my cavalry into a better position. Let's get this foot unit up on this part of the hill. Let's get my light into the trees. Stretch these guys out a bit more. 
God, this is a lot of fire. Come on, cavalry. <laughs> this is a lot of fire to expose my men to. God, see, why are you doing this? Yes, I know you're grumpy. I could well waver, because right now I've not really got a line. But it looks like they're going to be very nice, actually. Wait their turn. So let's make my cavalry attack their breaking forces. Come on. Come on, lads. Get your fill. Got ourselves a lovely little route. Delicious. Come along, Mr. Abercrombie. There's enough Prussian bodies for everyone. So then let's run these chaps along like so. And attempt to try and close this pocket. Oh no, some men are coming back. So let's charge in this direction with my cavalry. Look at that. So let's turn off all of my artillery fire. Because right now there is no... Okay, so let's get my general to run around here in preparation for those guys. Yes. As the entire Austrian force continue. I want to continue because it's such a comprehensive route. So they've shot one of my... Oh no, I was about to say they've shot one of my generals off of their... One of my general staff off their horses. And also means that these guys can just keep firing at these poor souls in the centre. Especially these guys. They can't route and they're not going to route anywhere. And they're just being... Oh god. 41st Regiment of Foot decimated. Good stuff. So you won't get to kill them all because men will still be able to leave the battlefield, but you know, there's going to be a lot of kills. So you, come on. I know it is a city battle, so we don't need to do it. But the victory was so complete that it feels silly to not take advantage of the opportunities this has offered. So come on, kill this guy first. Then go kill that one guy. Yeah, because these guys are routed and they're not going to catch up. Oh wow, there's still a... Where? Ah! So it doesn't want to engage this guy, but if we butt up our light dragoons up against him, they should take issue with him being there. 
and obviously once they fill up the front ranks. Because... Huh. Let's bring up... Let's, let's bring up a unit of infantry to sh blow his brains out. Um, but that, as a battle, went quite nicely. Because... Well, because the yeah, I spent so much time... Oh, it's got rid of all the bodies. Because the ice spent so much time farting around in the middle about, you know, where it's going to position its men. They didn't really have much of an option to do anything. And this is a bit of an example of what happens when the... <laughs> when continuing to engage an AI goes wrong. So, first option, try to shoot it with infantry. Second option, um, which if we need to do, I will pause the game. Um, is roll up a set of artillery because these guys are picking a, a Benny Hill route to get to the <laughs> to the position. Um, but if I need to, if this doesn't work, then I'll cut the recording. Then I'll have to roll up. You're not doing anything. There's no one there. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, first mission is always shoot at them, and if you can't shoot them with artillery, attack ground or destroy the building they're next to, because that will usually kill them. But a very comprehensive defeat for the loss of only 500 men. Lovely stuff. Oh, and the Austrians are sallying out of Lemberg, and I forgot about Lemberg. But that's such a pitiful force. Just want to resolve that. Oh, here comes another Austrian stack. Not sure where they want to go, though. Prussians, I think, are aware that if Lemberg falls, they will have a new front line with me. So let's see what the Russians do. Yep, so they are moving. Oh, they're pushing west. Oh, they've attacked Austria, but we have a good garrison there. And they're pushing west towards Munich. Oh, they've got around Wellesley. The swines. But this is going to be the interesting part, is, is the, the breakout of Russia in Europe, because I'm going to be also be attacking them from the northeast. Oh, they're on the march to Paris. That's bold of them. And it's going to be pretty ineffective. Here come the Swedes, but they can't cross the... Oh no, they can go for Norway. I must reinforce to Norway with all the speed. Especially if I can not command the straight. So. Sergei has raided on his way up to Paris, but I've got plenty of armies in England I can bring over. Recruitment in Silesia. Breslau garrison, just in case they're up to something. Wellesley's going to have to engage one of them. So we've got some mines that have been built, but they're probably going to be raided. Okay, so let's not stay completely passive. Oh, he, well, George Murray needs to stay passive somewhat, so he can replenish his troops. So he needs a unit of artillery and a unit of cool infantry, aren't they? They're already being recruited. Michael Stowell. Stowell. Charge onto Vilnius. Maintain for now. I'll look to right now I want to check. So they've lifted the siege of Vienna. Rather foolishly, I may add. So William de Dornberg, you get positioned by the bridge. See if you can entice them into a into a river battle. Strasbourg garrison remains strong. Good for a minute though, I thought I didn't have a navy didn't have any navies to bring my troops so let's move my militia move this second rate so you want to go into Charles Gaul so let's move Charles Gaul over with the light infantry Charles Colville sorry embark 
embark his unfinished army, but we can go to La Havre, disembark. Oh no, they won't make it to Paris till next turn. Oh, usually when you do port stuff, it's usually the transport's usually pretty good. Um, you can still wait. So let's move my navy back to Calais. Let's get you back into port here. So you need... So you'll get one artillery, two... Okay, let's get another set of nine pounders. Um, can't get any more because... Oh, because a bunch of recruitment was for the army going to Paris, which obviously does not need the guns. So then let's get ooh, cold stream guards. Get some more solid British foot units. Let's reinforce you. And obviously you are going to be here to block to block any temptations to go west east, so sorry, at this split. So Warsaw is Ours. Lemberg is going to be ours. We might just, as it's almost already ours, just oh, we could only occupy it. You're punishing. Good stuff. Get a court of justice and let's get a supply post for all that replenishment. Because I want Moscow. The garrison at Mittal may expand to a full army. And storm over and capture Riga. Or really, that's what George and Mario will do. So you can move up to here. So Michael Stoll will hit Vilnius, then he'll move on to Minsk, then probably to Smolensk. This army at Lemberg may hold position, because it's got quite a commanding position being able to cross both sides of this river um, until this front catches up. So. Like these guys, Alexander Abercrombie. He will advance. Then against the Zagreb's more or less defeated. The last battle was it, more or less. We have to occupy it. Sadly, I'd rather liberate it. Um, let's push them out of the harbour. Actually, no, don't do that. They might fancy staying in the harbour while they... If I push them out, they might want to get up to no good. So let's move up to here. When they're reinforced, they'll push on to Belgrade. Then eventually, when this battle happens... Trigging Master... Henry, Saint Henry Clinton, Master of Siegecraft. If that wasn't a siege. Alexander Abercrombie, Siege Expert. Good stuff. Um, so this army's coming back. Hopefully the Belgians come, because if they can make it to us in one turn, easy. But we have fortifications. We have fortifications, but we have a bucket load of artillery, which is not ideal. Annoyingly, because you guys cannot march up. But I think whatever garrison we have there will probably do just fine. Um, but what I'm probably going to want to do is march around here and straight into him. So it's the first battle against the Russian, uh, the Russian Empire. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first battle against these czarist Russian swines. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.